Three, two, one, go. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to, well, it's not really a tutorial or a live stream, but sometimes I'm working on this and I'm like, I might as well just do a little video. All my videos don't have to be really long and they don't have don't know how to be tutorials, I guess. So I kind of got lost in working on this yesterday. I worked on a lot of things at work while I was at work. And then when I was home, um, I kind of just got lost in it and was up late. So I'm going to do a Skillshare class and I'm going to do a little scene like this, you know, with a little, a little shack, maybe some, some food and wares. A lot of fun. Right now, this scene is 512K, so it's really not that big. Uh, and I might include some of my, like we have a little cat here. Let me turn up the light a little bit so you can see a little bit more. A little bit of more of what we have going on. We have a little cat here, a little alpaca. And these are UVs, so they're small. Uh, the file sizes are small, but um, as I've learned, they do take up some resources, so I won't add that many UVs. I think the pie might be a UV too. I couldn't get the pies really low poly, as low poly as I wanted to, but I really, really love the way that they look, so I did make those UVs. We got some jars of honey and things like that. Um, and again, just to reiterate, a lot of my problem in my other sculpt was I had too many UVs. You don't want to have too many UVs, UVs because then it causes problems. It looks like there's a mask on this. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. So what I wanted to do now is bring in a lantern I just made from another scene. Or just, I just, sometimes I don't make things in this scene. Um, I'll make it on a blank thing and uh, import it in. So I'm going to import it. If I can think. Saved elements, assets, lantern. All right. And just so you know, this is my this is my backdrop. I might change this. I might just use a plane, and I might add in uh, some backdrops. Because I think I might be able to add like a cool like kind of farmhouse backdrop. Um, shout out to AI because I hate doing backgrounds. So anyway, let's let's uh, work with this lantern first. Figure out where we want it, and figure out what kind of light. Now it is kind of big. So I think the best thing to do would maybe to like hang it here, like maybe hang it on the side of the tent up here or something like that might be kind of cool. But I'm not, oh, you know what? Why not just hang it? We could hang it here, but I kind of, I kind of don't want to mess with this light. I kind of like that light, so and we could also put it on the ground, maybe. Because there does need to be some light on the ground, I feel like. Because I essentially just want to light this little alpaca character. So I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's on the ground. I'll move the pivot that way. Oh. I'll move the pivot down to the floor plane. That way I can just move this around and I can scale it and it'll kind of stay on that plane. Actually, it'd be kind of cool if it was on a stool or something, but I don't want it to be too high up. Yeah, maybe hanging from, maybe hanging from a little, ooh, you know what? Maybe I just need to have like a little knob or something and have it hanging here. I think that would be good. Another reason I'm doing this um, is I, I, I like to sort of run through um, what I'm going to make. So if I'm... Uh, like since I have the class, then I, I want to run through 
and run through like what I'm gonna create. It just makes it it just makes it easier. Uh, that's one thing that I that kind of bugs me is there's just there's so much on the gizmo that I'm constantly hitting something else. And I wish I could just take off all of these extra things because sometimes I just want to maneuver it up and down and left it like just in a direction. I don't want to have the cones. I don't want to have all this stuff in here. It's just like it feels very messy. Uh, maybe I don't know how to use it and use it right. Or maybe there is a setting, which seems to be the case a lot of times. Come on, I just want to move it. So maybe if I maybe if it's like hanging here. somehow how would it hang there it would need like a uh oh i kind of i kind of have an idea so let me just get out of this i might be able to do it really quick um let's make mm, let's use a taurus let me do solo So I'm going to try to do this really quick because I don't want to spend that much time on it. So I've already spent a lot of time. Okay. So maybe something like... Let's just validate. Whoops. So essentially, I just want to make a, a sort of like a hook kind of coming out from the stall. I think that might be cool. All right. Oh, I keep accidentally switching my... Uh... I don't know why I keep doing that all of a sudden. I keep accidentally switching the the my tools around. I don't like it. So now I'm just using the round all brush. Uh, as you can see, I really use it a lot. Sometimes I just I scale this down. If I don't really need it to be I'm not really worried about the shape. And I kind of, sometimes I just want to kind of smooth all this stuff off. And if it can be organic, then I'm not really worried about the shape. So I don't, I, it actually helps me to make it smaller. And then when I decimate it, uh, it'll make it even smaller or even more like warped, which is fine. See, so this is fine to me because it sort of feels like more organic. So I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, okay, so let's unsolo it. Let's position it here. What happens sometimes is I, I accidentally hit one of those other options and it puts everything off axis. And that's, that's when I run into real problems. Okay, so maybe something like this. Let's color it. Same color as this. Maybe we can make it a little darker. Could even put a little metalness to it, but I don't think it needs it. So we'll paint it and make everything subsurface. It just makes everything look better at point one. So this will be the lantern hook. Got to name everything. Because if you don't name everything, then... Or Lantern Hua, that's cool. If you don't name everything, then you'll wind up... you wind up messing up. And everything will be lost. Trust me. Oh. I think I gotta move... I think I have to change the speed of that. I know there's a way to change, like, the speeds of stuff. So I need to...
Okay, something like that. I can actually make this a little more. A little smaller. All right, so let's um, let's bring the light down a little bit. Did I have it off? Maybe I had it off. It does look good off. So let's add a light in there. Let's make this subsurface. And let's change. So I have a random light up here somewhere that I want to bring down. I'm going to change this to a point light because I want to try to make it sort of like candle light. So we'll see if that works. This point light starts out dumb bright. Okay, what happened to the... Oh, that light is on. Okay. It's just this light is just really bright. All right, let's turn this. Hmm, it looks like I actually need to put something in there. Makes him look kind of creepy. All right, let's see what it looks like. Both process, full resolution. Um, so it can be a little bit brighter. I think I have a view. Let's take a look at the view. It looks okay, it's just the scene isn't bright enough. So I'm kind of missing a lot of details. So let's just add another light. Kind of like this, but we need it to be a different color. So I think this is good. But let's just adjust this. First we'll adjust the level of it and then we want to make it a cool color i might have to raise the intensity a bit go to my view Okay, the only thing that's bugging me is it oh you know let me try screen space it's very bright on that side and i guess it's kind of natural but it looks it doesn't look natural for some reason yeah that looks a little bit better i'm not fully um i can't say i fully know what like the whole like screen space and all that other stuff means exactly I don't, I'm not sure why certain things are, are reacting and doing certain things, but uh, I know that they make a difference. I, I, I know that much sometimes. Sometimes. But this is nice. I wanted like a nice shot. Of, of, unfortunately, I can't add any more. Um, I can't add any, any more lights. The only thing that I would uh, possibly add is, is maybe... Uh, Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll just widen this a little bit. I don't think I can bring it up. But let's see if I angle it forward a little bit. Oh, let me turn it off snap. It just needs a little more light in the front. I think that's what I'm having issues with. Bring up the intensity a little bit. 
I don't want it to be too bright on the pies. But I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good. So let's save. And yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's view. It's a pretty nice view. All right, so I'll export this and I'll show you in uno momento. And make sure to check out my Skillshare class coming soon. I'm going to start working on it right after I export this still. If you want to learn more, check out my classes on Skillshare. I have 2D classes and 3D classes. Be sure to check me out on social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all Drug Free Dave. As always, keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video. What's up guys, Drug for Dave here, and welcome to another Skillshare exclusive class. This one is called the Kawaii Workshop. We're gonna be working in 3D and Nomad Sculpt. I'll be using the iPad Pro 2021, but Nomad Sculpt is available on iPads and iPad Pros and Samsung tablets. So I really love making characters and doing character designs, putting them together, sculpting them, modeling them. Very cute, simple. So not only is this class all about cute characters, but it's all about making our scene and making our models with efficiency in mind. But we're gonna take extra steps to make sure our poly count stays low where it should be. So we're also gonna focus on composition. Uh, we're gonna add a background in and we're gonna make our scene fit seamlessly with that background and we're gonna add our little characters in so it looks like that that is the background scene. We're gonna make it really blurry. Uh, a lot of artistic stylization coming into this class because that's how I work and that's what I love to do. This class comes with a ton of free extras. I'm gonna include a whole room so you can use your characters once you finish them to populate the room. Uh, I made all of these assets, really cool assets, and I'm gonna include those all with this class because it's just fun to uh, use your characters and put them in a physical space and move them around in a physical space. All right, so that's my pitch. That's it for this intro. I really had a great time making this class and I'm looking forward to joining you in class so we can make some really cute little kawaii characters. All right, so let's move on to the next video, class project. Three, two, one, go. Um, and welcome to another Skillshare exclusive class only on Skillshare. I just said that. Nomad Sculpt. I'm. What's up, guys? Hmm. Cute, simple, oversimplified things. What am I even talking about? Uh, I had. Hmm. Let me just stop this. So essentially, we're just gonna take a lot of steps to make sure that... So basically, we're just gonna work on a class like we, like we... So basically, we're just gonna work on a class like we... The minimal amount of... So we're also gonna focus on comp competition. So this class... Hmm, I don't need to say so. This... I'm gonna go over a lot. Kawaii Workshop. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna name it the Kawaii Workshop or just Kawaii Workshop. We'll see. But I'm looking forward to you joining me in class. Let me turn my phone off so it's not going off while I'm filming. This is a sample tutorial. Tutorial. Something similar to what we do in that class. So if you like cats eating, and I just got distracted. The Kawaii Workshop. I don't look happy at all. The Kawaii Workshop.